Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to be filming a makeup video today because it's been a while. As you guys know, I've been more into vlogs and I've not been filming as much makeup, but I wanted to do a first impressions today of a couple of Lila B products that I got sent. I literally got them in the mail yesterday and I took some pictures today for the gram and I just want to use them right away. I have nowhere to go today. I straightened my hair for like the first time ever, but let's just get to makeup and we can chit chat throughout it because i want this to be more of a simple get ready get get ready with me for some impressions and i'm gonna make this as organic as usual so i have a lot of makeup to spread out all over the place that i gotta figure out got my mirror and i got my concealer as you guys know i don't wear primer so let's get right into the video I'm going to go ahead and use my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer. This has been oh, a godsend. I love this concealer so much. It's definitely going to be a repurchase for me. And it's been lasting me quite a long time because I've been using it every day. And I'm in the shade 190 if you guys are curious. All I do is that I put it under my eyes. And then I have some spots right here from past pimples. When I get a pimple... I tend to get higher pigmentation for quite a long time, like it takes a while. And I actually got a new breakout today right here, which I'm not mad about because I'm actually in my period and it could be way worse. I only got one pimple this time, which I'm really thankful for. And I'm gonna go with my Juno sponge. I got it in pink. I know most people get it in blue, but I just really wanted it in pink. And I'm gonna blend that out. I also kind of just use my finger at the same time to warm it up. How have you guys been? I really, really, really want to do a get ready with me. I haven't done one of these because sometimes I just don't know what to talk about and it can be a little hard to technically talk to yourself if you don't have any questions prepared. But I'm just gonna go with the flow today because I just feel like talking. <laughs> I had one glass of Prosecco during lunch today. It's only 3.30 right now. And guys, I'm feeling it. I only had one glass. Like how, I'm 22, shouldn't I be like thriving and whatever? I feel like I um, won really hard when I was in high school and beginning of college that now I'm like a grandma. But also, I also do feel that Prosecco hits you a little harder than just wines, like still wines that don't have any bubbles. And I can have like three glasses and I'm okay, like I'm I'm living. So what the hell was that? <laughs> I'm gonna use La Mercier powder. I'm almost out of it. I'm so sad. I actually didn't expect it to finish this fast, but it did. And I'm trying to find another powder to use because this one's a little expensive. I think it's forty dollars for the big size. And I'm just trying to find other ones that will do kind of the same job meaning that it will set my makeup without having a white cast so if you guys know any please let me know this morning i did my skincare routine and then i asked my grandma like hey do you want to do your skincare routine like i can do use the same products that i'm using especially because i use like a peptide uh, serum which is good for anti-aging and wrinkles it's not like it's gonna reverse anything but i thought it was just a little fun that she would use it so she sat right here i put my camera right in front of her and she thought it was a mirror so i started doing my skincare on her and she loved it she was like i need all of these products when i go to dr i'm gonna take them all and i'm gonna use it especially because the sun is so intense she really wanted that sunscreen um but i'll put the video right now so you guys can see it so i also make sure to save the video it's so cute. I think a lot of people really liked it. Now that the makeup is all set, I'm going to do my brows. I'm actually going to stop this and going to do my brows off camera because it can take quite some time. But what I'm going to be using is the Brow Gal. And this is in medium brown 04. I didn't think I was going to like this because I usually don't like like ones that you have to sharpen. But it's really, really good. So I'm going to do my brows now. All right, the brows are all done. They can look a little dark, especially when I haven't done the rest of my makeup, but 
I tried to fill them in as natural as possible. Just kind of fill in where I don't have any hair, where it's pretty sparse, or where I just want to match to the other brow. So now we're going to move on to the face. And I'm really excited about this part because that's where the Lila B products come into play. They gifted me some of their products, like I said, and I've got their Sun Kiss Bronze Beauty, their illuminating, like skin illuminator, also the brush that you can use for it, which is so soft. I can't wait to use that. And also this mist. It's called the A Glow Face Mist. First, the Bronze Beauty. And this is how it looks like. So the pan comes in half. Half of it is like this glowy bronzy color. And then the other half is a matte color. And I'm going to just swivel these around and use them. I am going to use the brush that it came with because I think that's only fair when trying out the product. Yay. It's also, the sun, the sun is also coming down. So if you see these lines that look pretty as aesthetic that's what it is so, okay i don't know how much to use of this because it is my first time so hopefully i don't go too heavy-handed and i'm going to start putting it on the perimeters of my face guys this brush is so soft and i feel like it's also really good for traveling because you can just put the cap on and it doesn't um like move around the bristles so good you guys see that? I feel like I see it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but I can definitely see the color of it. I do try to be more mindful with my bronzer here because I do have some hyperpigmentation, which you guys saw, I like covered up. So, yeah. It feels really nice. It looks really natural actually, which I honestly really like when my bronzers look really natural. Um, I don't contour, I just really bronze it up. I'm gonna put some on my cheeks too. So, that. It can act kinda as my blush because I didn't put any blush today, which I usually do, but I'm skipping today. And now I'm gonna use your skin illum illuminator. So this one is so beautiful. Open it up, I love how it slides like that too. It's this like pinkish tone pink with some champagne and i'm gonna swatch it actually first for you guys and also for myself because i haven't swatched it and let's see that is so pretty oh my god that is gorgeous so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a bigger brush this time i just want to keep the brush that i just used more for my bronzer and now for this one i'm gonna take this really big brush i usually take like the smaller ones for my highlight but i'm actually going to use this more all over my face than a highlighter and i am going to put on my cheeks first just to see all of my face so on my nose okay there you can see it more the lighting is, I don't know, sometimes natural lighting doesn't really show the highlight as much. Sorry I keep moving around, it's just that the sun is coming down. I am filming at 3 something. This is how my skin looks. I feel like now that I'm, it's a little bit more dim, you can see it better. I have like this nice subtle glow on my cheeks as well as the bronzer. And I really do like it as an overall radiant powder that I can use all over my face. It has these small glitter, which don't bother me, but could to other people. And I just feel very glowy, natural, and radiant. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off my makeup and I'm gonna use their spray at the end. So let me get to mascara and lips. So I want to show you guys my lip combination. I have been loving these so much. It's like my perfect nude and I have not stopped wearing these. The first one is this Ulip lipstick and it's in Daring Nude. It's a little bit of a darker nude which is why I like to pair it with this one. But I like this brand because they're clean and natural. Like I trust the ingredients that are in here. And then I go in with the ColourPop one and I put it right in the middle. I just spread it and I have my perfect nude.
Ooh, it's a little bright, but that's how it looks like and I really really enjoy it. So now I'm gonna move into the Lila B A Glow Face Mist. I'm really excited about this one because I love face mist, especially in the summer because it can be a little bit too hot. Um, not as much as in the winter, but this one's gonna be a really good one because it's supposed to hydrate. So in the winter, hopefully if I use this one, it will hydrate my skin during the day. Oh, that smells so good. Wow, that smells really good. So to be honest, I don't see much of a glow coming from the face mist. The mist was pretty fine. Not the finest ever, but fine enough where it won't leave like these really big globs on your face and interrupt your makeup. But I honestly don't see much of a glow happening. I do like using face mist so I can just blend all the powders together if you have um, especially like foundation um, and powders and other powders. I personally don't need them that much because I just use like blush and bronzer but I will definitely be using this as a refreshing mist <laughs> as a refreshing mess throughout the day. That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions of these products. To sum it up, I do like the bronzer. It's very natural. The glow is definitely there. I would definitely use it like I did. I just use a big brush, put it all over the place, and then focus it on the cheeks. Like I said, it does have like little glitter particles. It's not like that wet look. So if that's something that you're not into, I would pass on their illuminator, but I personally like how it looks. Then the face mist is really good. I wouldn't technically use it for myself to blend in my makeup because I don't use a lot of it, but definitely as a refresher and a hydrator throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.